This is Ron from MathX, and today we're going to be doing number 25 from the AMC8 of 2018. Now, this problem, in my opinion, does not deserve the place of number 25. Because when you get down to solving this problem, you can solve this problem in no time, just using a little bit of simplifying and addition and subtraction. But anyways, without further ado, let's get started. How many perfect cubes lie between 2 to the 8th plus 1 and 2 to the 18th plus 1 inclusive? And the answer choices for this problem is A, 4, B, 9, C, 10, D, 57, and E, 58. Okay, so to get started on this problem, we have a certain goal in this problem. To get all the perfect cubes between 2 to the 8th plus 1 and 2 to the 18th plus 1. So, to start this off, we need to find out what 2 to the 8th plus 1 is. 2 to the 8th is equivalent to 256. Because when you do the multiplying out, like 2 multiplied 8 times together, you would get 256, but then you add the one for the 257. So, we currently have 257. Now, after we got this 257, we can go a step further and get a cube that's right after 257, which is 7 cubed. Because 7 cubed is equal to 3, 4, 3. And some of you might be thinking, why is it 7 cubed, not 6 cubed? Well, that is because 6 cubed is smaller than 257. Because you see, 6 cubed is equivalent to 216, which is less than the cutting off point. It has to be above 257 and less than 218 plus 1 and has to be a perfect cube. But... 6 cubed didn't be above 257, so it can be there. So now that we've got 7 cubed here, we can next find out another thing. For 2 to the 18th plus 1. Now this is the largest cube in the range. But actually, 2 to the 18th is a cubed. 2 to the 18th plus 1 isn't. But 2 to the 18th is. Because you see, you can simplify the 2 to the 18th into a cube. Because 18 is divisible by 3. So, you could just have 2 to the 6th in parentheses, then cubed. But we know that 2 to the 6th is equal to 64. Because 2 multiplied 6 times, if you do it, will be 64. And let's just write it as a cube, because that is equal to 2 to the 18th plus 1. So, now once we got 64 cubed, that is the highest cube there is, and 7 cubed is the lowest cube there is. So, after we got these numbers, we can just basically subtract 64 minus 7. Because if 7 is the lowest number that can be, and 64 is the highest number that can be, if you subtract them, you can find out how many numbers are in between them. And once you subtract them here, 64 minus 7, that is equal to 57. But the thing is, it says it's going to be inclusive. So we can add another one number to it to get 58, which is an answer here, meaning that the answer to this problem here is E58, showing you that while many people have struggled on this problem, you can solve it just using a cube and simplifying cubes and, I guess, addition and subtraction. But anyways, as you can see, we have solved this problem, meaning that we are now officially finished.